Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Into the Light. Thank you so much for being here today and being present and clicking on this video. So today's three card reading is going to be a little bit of a fun one. So this one is going to be about who is secretly crushing on you. So who's secretly crushing on you right now? I just saw 555 come up on my screen. So if that might be a message for somebody. If search of what 555 is. But anyways, we have four piles to choose from today. We have pile one, two, three, and four. So pile one, we have this red diamond. Pile two, we have this dark blue crystal thing. Pile three, we have this pearl. And pile four, we have this purple ball right here. So these are your four piles. Whatever you feel drawn to will be your pile. And just keep in mind, this is a general reading. Um, so yeah, let's get on to it. Without further ado, we'll start with pile one. Okay, pile number one, those of you who have chosen the red diamond, who is secretly crushing on you? All right, so, let's see. Start with the tarot. We have the king of cups. Lighting is so interesting. We have the Devil. We have the Ace of Pentacles. We have Jupiter. We have the Fifth House. We have Embarking on an Adventure. We have the Four of Diamonds. The Knight of Clubs, and we have the Seven of Spades. Oh, that actually worked out pretty well. Let's see right there. All right. So, who is secretly crushing on you? <clears throat> so, I'll point out this person may be a water sign, a Capricorn, or any earth sign. Or Sagittarius. They can also be a fire sign as well, since we have the Knight of Clubs here. But for the tarot and the karma cards, I kind of focus more on those four signs. So definitely water sign, getting heavy Capricorn with the devil energy here, um, and Sagittarius. So this person that secretly has a crush on you has been eyeing you for a while. This might be somebody that you work with or did work with, or um, this may be somebody that, like a new person in your class or in your workplace. Um, I'm definitely picking up the energy that this person though, that secretly is crushing on you is crushing on you because like they just think you're just so attractive and they just really want to have a piece of you they just see you as like super beautiful and fortunate and yeah they really want to invest in you and invest in you based on like you know just getting in your pants kind of <laughs> i'm gonna like say it straight Especially with the King of Cups beside the double here, like this person is, they know how to play the game. They know how to play the game and they know like how to get to you. And they might just be like a player, really. Like I see this person as a player, especially with this fifth house here. And I keep just looking at the dices and like up here, it says the power of love, um, invest gambles and other games like and then do it dramatically. Fun romance and making art. Yeah, this person may even like also be an artist. This 
person also likes to travel a lot. When I see this embarking on an adventure as well, like, I see this as this person just wants to be, like, adventurous with you. Like, they just want to, like, explore your body, explore you, you know? This is mainly what I see. I don't really see this too much of, like, a love type thing. Plus, this is someone that's secretly crushing on you. So, like, they definitely don't know you 100%. They don't know all about you. So they're kind of just acting on their own, like, feelings, their physical, like, passionate feelings. I'm also seeing that with the four of diamonds here, this person, like, as I said, this person may be a little bit uh, possessive. So it's like once they see someone and they're like, oh, I really like this person, they're going to lure you in. They will lure you in. Like, they will lure you in. Like, this person knows how to do it. This person is a charmer. This person's definitely a charmer. Like, wow. Oh, my goodness. I'm also getting like, oh, also with the Knight of Wands here, this also shows me that this person is very like passionate about you and you know, they're not thinking with their head, but they're downstairs. Yeah, this can be a femme fatale. I think that's what you call it. Femme fatale, I don't know. I think that's what like a feminine version of a F boy is. Um, yeah, but I'm also getting, like, this person, like, is very flattering. They know how to, like, make you feel good, like, in a, like, make your mood better. But definitely I'm seeing that this person is unreliable. They don't want anything really serious. They kind of just want to, like, get in your pants, really. Um, also with the Seven of Spades, this is probably somebody that you probably argued with before, too, because I'm seeing, like... Quarrels, um, quarrels, forgotten or neglect, and then I'm also seeing avoid argument, sorrow, deceitfulness, lying. So this person could have, can also be like, this person can also be an ex or someone you just didn't give the time to, just somebody you didn't really like think of or really care about, you know, this is somebody you really don't like pay much attention to anymore or if you ever had. Um, yeah, this person just gives me major, like, I just want to be in your pants type of energy. Yeah. So that's what I'm picking up for you guys that chose the red diamond. Hopefully this resonated with you. Please give me a thumbs up if you would like. Comment down below if you would like. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I post pretty frequently. All right. Take care, you guys. All right, those of you who have chosen this dark blue cluster here, this is the reading for you. So who is secretly crushing on you? Let's find that out. All right, start with the tarot. So we have the star. We have the king of wands. We have the ten of wands. We have the eighth house, Aries, stepping into stillness. We also have the four of spades, the queen of hearts, and we have the ace of hearts. I know this is a joker card, but I lost my ace of hearts card so I kind of just changed it into the joker card so don't mind that anyways mm -hmm. so who's secretly crushing on you I'm seeing that this person can be a fire sign an Aquarius or an Aries which is also a fire sign, but Aries is here, so they might like, be an Aries, like for like an exact example of which fire sign this might be. Um, 
Yeah, I see this person really, they've been eyeing you for like quite some time and they really like look up to you and think like, wow, how can I ever like have a chance with this person? Like they don't really see themselves as worthy of being with you and they just feel like, Them being an addition into your life wouldn't even be, like, something that you would want. Um, especially with these uh, Ten of Wands. Like, this person also, like, themselves probably are doing a lot in their life. I just saw 111, by the way. So, that may resonate with some of you. Um, look up what 111 is. Um that angel number if you don't know um yeah I see this person like definitely like having a lot of responsibilities and things to do in their life but you know they would drop all of this stuff like maybe not drop all of it but like they'll make space for you yeah so they'll make space for you because this person's coming through uh with the king of wands energy so I'm definitely seeing like this person uh definitely has a lot they're really they have a lot on their hands because you know they're a very creative person this person may like be an artist or they may you know own their own business like this person may be an entrepreneur of some type or they're just really working heavily on their desires and this is like something that they have a lot on their hands this might also like show you who this person might be you might know somebody that just like works so hard and with the stepping into still stillness, like, I don't see this person really coming forward to you right now, currently. Um, and they're really just taking time to kind of just take care of their own business, take care of themselves. But they are watching you, but they're kind of just waiting for, like, the right moment. Also, like, with the star card, I feel like this person as well, like, they went through a lot... Because before the star is the tower, right? So I feel like this person went through a lot in their life right now. And it's, and they're really just like reaping like the aftermath of it too. So it's like, you know, after some bad stuff happened to them, they saw you and noticed you. And you kind of brought them like more hope and just like made them feel like, wow, like, there's this person out here that's like them and you know they really realize like wow like if I can go through all this and then see this person and see how like uh, loving and caring and just like how much this person is just making so many great things happen for them in their life they will wait for you um, but I'm definitely seeing, like, you may or may not know this person, but it's going to be really, I feel like it's going to be very, like, mysterious and different how they approach you, you know, when they do. Um, they definitely, also, when I said, like, I saw a one 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 I feel like this person definitely manifested you in their life after all of that upheaval that went on. Um. And they want to definitely, like, give to you and share, like, over... The eighth house is also about resources, so I'm seeing that this person definitely wants to, yeah, open up their heart to you and give you blessings and stuff like that because I see this person as really abundant and just really in their power as well, even though they must have, like, a lot on their, on their plate. Um, but if you were to be in their life, they would literally give you the world. You know, they will always make time for you. So I said this person may be an Aries. Um, Aries gives me, like, heavy, like, leader, CEO type of energy. Because the Aries also is, like, the first um, sign in astrology to kind of, like, come alive. Like, the Aries just starts creating everything. Um, so this person has a lot of strength. And, you know, they probably meet a lot of challenges in their life as well, but they just, 
do things in their own way way and get things done even though you know they may seem to have like a lot of stuff on their plate they can still handle it really well I see this person contemplating how they approach you with this four of spades here seeing recovery and contemplation like also like this person like as I said before like this person may have went through some upheaval um, before they really recognized who you were or manifested you in their life and yeah so right now they're kind of just recovering and also just kind of thinking about how do I approach this person and with the ace of hearts here this is a new love a new person coming into your life um, I'm seeing visit change of address this person may have just moved to your city or you know this person may have just moved this can just be for some of you I'm just pointing out whatever I see there's a lot of you guys um, that come to watch these videos so just want to point out whatever I see this person can start with you as a friend and then go into the romance like they'll start off as friends with you but like they kind of just know deep down like they want to be with you um, and then I see this uh, Queen of Hearts here. So you may be a water sign that's watching this. If not, don't worry about it. <clears throat> but with the Queen of Hearts, the Queen of Hearts, Hearts is very, this person is very, um, this, this is someone you can uh, trust. They're a very trusting, trusted person. Um, and very empathic as well. This person may, like, the only thing is they may be a little bit emotionally dependent. But, you know, they're getting over that. Or, you know, even just being a little bit emotionally, like, dependent. It's okay as long as, like, you're not, like, overdoing it or overstepping, which I don't see this person doing. And this person is very faithful as well. And they're very fair. They'll make sure, like, as I said, they'll make sure they'll make time for you even if they feel like you know there's a lot they have to do so that's what i'm picking up for you guys that shows this dark blue like cluster thing here or pile two um thank you so much for clicking on this video please give me a thumbs up if you would like subscribe if you haven't already and i hope to see you guys in the next one bye now All right, to so those of you who have chosen the pearl pile number three, this is your reading here today. So who is secretly crushing on you? Let's figure that out. So let's start with the tarot here. So we have the three of wands. We have judgment. We have the hierophant. We have Pisces and we have Pluto. We have Soaring into Joy. And then we have the Five of Hearts, the Three of Diamonds, and the Eight of Hearts. I just heard like pull another one, so. I'm gonna pull one more karma card. Just give me one second here. Okay, there you go. So we have Gemini. So your person may be a Gemini as well. Lucky y'all, you got three karma cards. Okay. Whoa, okay, this makes sense. All right, okay. Sorry. Sometimes I get a little wild about these readings. But let me point this out first. Okay, so. Okay. So, we have, um, let me start up here. 
<laughs> I'm going to take it one by one. So we have the three of wands. So this person has definitely been, oh my gosh, watching for some time. Like, literally, this is the third pile that this person has definitely been, you know, had their eyes on you and really kind of just seeing, like, how do I fit into this person's life? Wow, these secret crushes, like, come on, guys, just move forward. Make your move. Slide in those DMs. <laughs> um, all right. So this person is trying to use their... Um, sorry. Excuse me. I have to sneeze. Sorry. This person is trying to use their intuition to help guide them. And if they're not, if not their intuition, their intuition uh, may be guiding them without them even really noticing. Like spirit might like be kind of just like sending them downloads or messages, like hey, or even synchronicities. I'm seeing six one six. So definitely, you guys are being guided to each other. Like this is divinely orchestrated. But this person, I feel like, is too too much in the 3D, you know? So they're really not understanding like how they can move forward and really like kind of, you know, jumping in and just, you know, going for it. But this person has definitely, is definitely like a few like feet away from approaching you. This person has a very like childlike, light-hearted uh, personality definitely seeing that with the soaring into joy also with this lady kind of just you know letting the balloons take her away i'm seeing that this person is really just going to leave it up to the universe to kind of like help them guide you to them or them to you or you guys to each other, whatever, however that resonates. Because um, this person is very afraid of like making a move and coming towards you. I'm also feeling like, okay, because with these, the judgment, like how people are kind of just down. And then here, these two people are kind of just, like, on their knees, kind of just, like, praying or begging, whatever. I feel like this person sees you as, like, puts you on a pedestal. And they kind of just see you, like, up here, and they're, like, down here. So they're like, how do I even approach such a goddess or god or, you know? This is how this person sees you and thinks of you and feels about you. Okay, so when I, when I kind of like went, oh my gosh, this all makes sense. So with the Gemini here and the five of cups, the first thing that was drawn to me was inability to make up your mind. And then if you see here, like there's like four different faces and this person just doesn't know how to approach you, especially with these two being together. They don't know how to approach you. And I feel like this person has, like, thought of ways to and, like, was always, like, so close to doing it and then just didn't, kind of just stepped back. They've been, like, very indecisive. And, like, that's kind of what I get from Gemini, like, super indecisive, just not knowing how to move forward. Like, they make and break plans. And I feel like this person is trying to, like, with this improving, with the three of diamonds, and I see this improving skills, I definitely feel like this person is, like, trying to figure out how to have, like, better game or how to approach you. And, like, they've just been thinking so long and hard about it. Like, they just don't know how to. And they, they're kind of, like, they're kind of scared as well that you'd reject them.
I'm seeing with the Pluto, like an obsession with for so here there's like M, which represents the mental, and I see an obsession with. So this person has been really obsessing about how to come forward to you. And then here, as I said, like this person may be trying to use their intuition to help guide them or, you know, trying to just like leave it to the divine or, you know, they've been getting synchronicities, whatever. But this person is trying to trust their psychic knowledge or trying to trust this connection because they feel really strongly about you. I feel like you definitely know this person. This person is very in and out though. They don't know really what to do. And they're always fretting about like, how do I communicate to you? How do I do this? So you see communications about. And when, when I said like for, uh, they have like a really hard time coming to you and they're very indecisive. Just noticing like here it says resulting from the indecision of or about so they're very in, like decisive about it they can't make up their minds and then also we're seeing like resulting from fluctuations of and then we also see a power struggle so remember as i said like this person like sees you like you are the hierophant here and the archangel here and they're kind of just like down here you know i see that like different dynamic here So with the Eight of Hearts here as well, you may have seen this person at some sort of event as well. Now this person's making a really hard choice moving towards you. So that's what I'm picking up for you guys. That shows pile three. If this resonated, please give me a thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye now. We have pile number four with this purple ball thing here. So who is secretly crushing on you? Let's figure that out. We're going to start with the tarot. So we have the eight of cups. We have the three of cups. And we have the five of swords. We also have Venus, the moon, we have being in the flow, we have the five of diamonds, the ace of diamonds, and the six of spades. So who is secretly crushing on? All right. This person that's secretly crushing on you is definitely somebody you know. I was going to say somebody you knew. But somebody, ah, maybe somebody you knew. Yeah, maybe that works better. Grammar, oh my gosh. This person, I feel like you had history. You guys had history. And they were, you were both attracted to each other before. But there was some, somebody walked away from this connection. Somebody left this connection. And, you know, it might be this person. This person may have walked away from you themselves. And then they kind of just wanted to pretend like they didn't care. Probably started drinking, going out, clubbing with a whole bunch of different people, friends, whatever. And, you know, the whole time they were really, like, wishing that you were there with them. You know, like, they feel like, you know, they walked away, so they kind of won the fight. But really, like, this is not what made them really happy in the ending. This person still has strong attraction to you, strong feelings for you. 
they always remember the good times that you had together. They still think about, like, if you guys were intimate, they still think about your intimate times. I feel that, like, this person reacted in a way that also kind of just made you feel like, no, I don't want to deal with that. And this person's just not really good with their feelings, dealing with their feelings, and they kind of just, like, jump to conclusions really quickly, or... <clears throat> They let their mind kind of get the best of them, so they'll, like, try to logic things out and just kind of, like, rationalize things and not really, like, they'll do things because, like, they don't want to be hurt or, like, left to be the one hurt, but because they rather, like, kind of, like, just deal with that hurt on their own and, like, you know, go deal with it themselves. This person definitely thinks about you a lot, a lot, a lot at night. Because all of these cards are, like, very dark, and then the moon here with, like, the clouds, and then this being in the flow. Like, this person thinks about you when they're laying in bed. Just at nighttime, it's, like, a whole different thing. Because, like, also if you see here with the scenery, like, it's really bright, it's really light, you know, it's a good time. And then when they start thinking about you, everything's dark and gray and just, you know, they're very regretful. They kept feeling like they needed to defend themselves, but they weren't actually accepting the reality, the truth of things. It's just saying, let your feelings tell you how to. So they're trying to let their feelings tell them how to deal with this situation better instead of really just like using their mind and kind of rationalizing things. I definitely see that this person is going to try and let things kind of just play out and see how they can fit themselves in. Yeah, this person definitely feels like left out in the cold with this five of diamonds. Like if you see like loss of possessions, like this person definitely feels like they lost you. This might be somebody that if you were married and now you're divorced or if you have children with this person, or if you had if you had children with somebody but you're not with that person anymore, this is that person. So that might resonate with some of you. Um This person may have also left you because they got like a new job somewhere or like they got an offer to work somewhere overseas or whatever and they kind of just left you for this offer. Like I'm just picking up this person left you for something and something that they celebrated with but they feel like they made the wrong decision. Like this person like moved and like I'm also getting like they traveled away because you know there's a boat here and then the six of spades here, which, like, you know, it's about moving on, traveling. Um, I feel like this person also, whatever new job, whatever, if this person, like, if this resonates, like, if somebody, like, walked away from you before a new job or some kind of new project or something, this person does not like it. Like, they feel like they've made the wrong decision to leave. Because they're doing so much, like, so much hard work, but there's so much competition that they're not, like, getting enough profit from all of the work that they're doing. Sorry. <clears throat> yeah. Wherever this person is, like... They are trying to plan, doing a lot of planning about how to approach you or how to, like, deal with this situation, but they're not really doing too much with it. Like, they're getting, like, very little results, and, you know, they may, they want to be in a better place mentally, like, they feel like they are in a better place mentally because, you know, they may have walked, like, you guys may have separated because, you know, the, in the past you guys weren't, you know, better off. Like, you guys would be better off 
without each other because in the past you know you're always arguing there's always just something going on like there's so many like just different reactions so you guys made that change I just saw eight so you guys just like made that change to just you know walk away from each other and like go your separate ways but this person still has feelings for you they're still crushing on you so this is what I'm picking up for you guys that shows this fourth pile. Thank you so, so, so much for clicking on this video. Please give me a thumbs up if it resonated. And subscribe if you haven't already. Bye now.